Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Been out mowing a lawn. We got home in a decent time tonight and I fired up my old push mower and I got a pretty good share of it done all the way over to the edge, uh, past the solar panels, almost to the garden uh, before I wore out. The thing is still running. I still got to trim all the way around the grass next to around the uh, road edge next time and around the fire pit and do trim work. Uh, still got to get all this wood out of here. As you all know, we've been working on the Sari Sari shop, our Filipino grocery store for a while. Uh, full blast, so we haven't been home much at all except for to sleep and eat, sometimes eat on the road and shower and that's it. I mean, literally, that's been it. So we haven't been on the homestead much during daylight hours. But uh, I had to mow the lawn, so we closed the doors at 5 and left and got home at a decent time. I, I went out and I pulled this out. And now I haven't done a thing with this since last season. I actually stupidly didn't take the grass off last year, which was bad when I parked it. That wasn't good. But I, uh, it still had some gas in the tank, and I wasn't sure how good it was. Um, also, the gas that I have in my can is from last fall. Now, as you know, your modern gas at the pumps lasts three months. Beyond that, you're in trouble. This um, alcohol-free, I call it NA, non-alcoholic gas, the rec gas, is more expensive, but the stuff really lasts in your, in your can and in your tank. Now, I filled up the tank, I pumped a primer a few times, and this old thing started on the second pole. Can you believe that? This old beast started on the second pole. Now, some of you may remember, this is the one that I bought for $20 as junk. This is my Toro GTS. Uh, six and a half horse um, self-propelled lawnmower. <laughs> Guaranteed to start. Amazing. It does. After all these years, after my res restoring it, it had been seized up and wouldn't turn and now it's running beautifully it fired on the second pull and I was able to mow most of my lawn here I love this old machine well I'm gonna put it away for the night keep it safe and uh, that'll be it for tonight but I've got to cover the plants I'll show you around what's going around on the homestead but we're supposed to have a freeze again tonight this is what is this 20, 30th of May and we're supposed to have freezing. Um, Melanie said half of Michigan. I'm not sure if she meant half of northern Michigan or half of Michigan has freeze warnings. So we've got some things to cover and some things to put in for the night. Now these are part of Melanie's birthday gift. They're beautiful, very beautiful and very healthy. But we haven't planted them yet because of the damage. Uh, potential for freezing. So they're gonna go inside for the night. Look at aren't they pretty? Just really healthy they are. And in this hanging basket one, and we, ha I, we got her a few others. I got her a whole mess of, of plants and flowers for her birthday. I wanted to get her something that lasted. There's orange and pink and uh, yellow. It's a beautiful little thing. Camera doesn't really do it justice. Now, up here, we let this bed go to wild for now because the grass protects the, the flowers from and other plants from freezing as bad. So I don't know if there's anything in there or not, but she's going to have to get out to that after the beginning of the month. Here we've got our peppermint spreading and starting to grow. And this is from a little sprig that was not much bigger than this one stem. And it's now taking over the whole flower bed, which is fine. We like that because we use our peppermint. So that's good. Hopefully it'll be fine for the, the freezing. I wanted to say the winter. Over here, we're going to have to cover this for the night. Um, there's another plant I got for Melanie. That was on a discount, though, because it was uh, semi-frost burnt. And then some little flowers I had planted all through here. Definitely going to have to cover them for the night. Um, they're starting to send out something. I don't even know what they are exactly, but they were uh, these were also on sale. So I bought her a whole mess of stuff, 
including some clearance items. But um, she liked them. She got to pick everything she wanted. And then our apple mint here. This is uh, looking pretty good. Hopefully it'll be fine from the freeze tonight. I'm not sure. Well, actually, this one won't matter because I have to cover this bed uh, tonight to protect it. This is the only thing we have planted so far, this and this. Up here by the house, we have cement. It's, it's growing over. It's growing all through here. It's odd how it doesn't grow in the middle where it started. It's growing spread out everywhere else. It's really weird. It's coming out around, taking over along the sidewalk, which again, that's great because it repels mice over here. Spreading out, which is great. Let it go, let it grow. Now, my greenhouse is not looking so well this year. Uh, I haven't been out here to water anything, so the half the greenhouse is dead. Just absolutely dead. Nothing's coming up. Nothing's alive at all. But even then, the front isn't growing yet either where the rain is coming through. So I don't know. We've got some more flowers in here. And is that a... No, it's just a leaf. She's got the potatoes growing and the potatoes in the pots, we're going to have to hill them very soon, but the potatoes are growing in the pots really, really well. Look at that. So, and there's one down there and there's one back there. So they're okay out here, but I'm going to get out here right now and water this because it desperately needs it. There's not enough moisture getting in here, I think, but I don't know. It looks like the stuff that was buried under the snow isn't coming back. Or no, the stuff that was not buried under the snow. The stuff that was buried under snow is alive. And the stuff that was not buried is absolutely dead. Everything else is dead. It's sad. So I don't know what's going to happen here. But I'm going to keep watering anyway and hope for the best. I'm adjusting the solar panels for winter. And uh, it was easier than I thought. I did not grab the camera because I didn't want to embarrass myself. But, surprisingly, it went very, very smooth. I am surprised. It went with ease. There was no problem. It's getting them back down for winter that's harder. Because they generally want to go this way. There's a little more weight on the top. So, it was easy for me. So, I released the one, uh, the one side totally and let it drop and then I adjusted this one with ease so we'll I'll attempt to show you how with the camera on that one now that one's harder to reach so we'll see how it goes but uh, I just gotta tighten these real quick and we'll be back with the camera so I'm gonna let you watch and see how this goes I'm gonna undo the other side completely first The winter has wreaked a little bit of havoc on the hinge points, so I've got to tighten them. The wood is drying, actually probably the summer more than the winter. The wood is drying out more in this warmer weather and shrinking. So my joints are loose. My wing nut, my bolts on these ends are too long and the bolts on the hinges are almost too short. I should get a little bit longer ones and then put uh, washers in there. It'd be better. I'll do that when I get a chance. So I hope I don't embarrass myself because I'm about to let this go. Now which one do I want? The farthest out. See what I'm doing. There's that hole. Of course, this one isn't going as easy. There you are. Something's hitting on the other side. Oh, well, come on. Oh, I'm on the ground over there. Bummer. That one's hitting and resisting me. Well, that didn't work out as easily as the other. That one over there is hitting the, the dirt and fighting me. Not a 
cool. Not cool. How am I going to do that? Let me see if that helps. Oh, my God. Not supposed to be that complicated. I've never been through that hole before. Yeah, the wood is drier. I definitely got to get some washers and stuff on here. But, except for the fact that the wood hit the bottom over there, I mean, it went pretty easy, honestly. Um, I just didn't foresee that. I, I'm going to put a, a board down here to keep that from dropping in the future. But, you know, this is my first time with my new adjustable panels standing out for summer. You may remember I just did this in winter. So I'm going to make that nice and snug so there's less uh, shaking. Oh, the mosquitoes are bad. Might have to call it a night here soon. I want to make that good and snug. I don't know if you can watch me on the other side. No. Oh, the mosquitoes are terrible. Bad timing to do this. Oops. So my sheet metal is in my way a little bit. There we go. Yeah, these screws are too long. So I've got to get shorter ones because they hit in the middle here. I definitely got to fix that. Oh, the mosquitoes are bad. I got to get this on and get in. Time to call it a night. Alright, I'm going to put the camera out of the way so I can just get this done. And I'm going to tighten those two hinge points, all four hinge points. Oh, wow. i got to get a jacket. I'm getting bit up bad. Well, I got the greenhouse watered. I got the lawn taken care of for the most part. I got another hour or so of trim work and finishing. Uh, oh, i got to get a little bit more on these plants. I've got the solar panels adjusted for summer. Finally, as long as I keep moving, I don't get eaten alive. I've got most of the plants here covered. i got to find a piece of tarp for that other piece, for that other bit. Pretty much it. So, another day is done. Back to the off-grid homestead, everybody. Here we are. We're back. Back in business and hopefully making daily videos. I'll show you what we do from now on out as we're home, when we're home. Uh, we might have activities that keep us later sometimes. But uh, longer days, the sun is still visible over there and uh, still just setting. We got longer days and oh, so much better. It's gotta be like, I don't know, 8.30 or 9 already and I can still see clearly. I love it. Uh, well, the day is coming to a close. The mosquitoes are bad and I gotta go in and get cleaned up and get ready for another day. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Back to the homestead.